Hi guys, in this video we're going to be using the index function and within the index function we're going to be using the match function. So if you don't know how to use the match function be sure to watch lesson one and lesson two on the match function because those build up into this index function video. Okay, so our example here to briefly explain we have a table here with employees listed on the rows and for each employee we have their type their sales for the year and we want to compute the commission except there's one little twist the commission depends on the type of employee so for example type A employee only gets 3 percent commission on his sales whereas a type C employee gets 7 percent commission on his sales okay so we want to make a formula here that is going to compute the commission but based on what type of employee this individual is okay so in order to do that we're going to use a index function you could also you could say use a VLOOKUP function but this being a lesson for times when you cannot use a VLOOKUP function because the index function is actually a little bit more robust than VLOOKUP function. So this is an introduction to an index function and there will be situations where you can only use the index function and the VLOOKUP will come up short. So let's jump in it. So here we're going to type equals index open parentheses. Now the array is the first argument. So our array is going to be this lookup table, A2 to B4. We're going to lock that as usual. Comma. The row number. Well, the row number that corresponds to this type of individual, of salesman, is row 1. But as you can see this changes as we go down the column so I can't just type one here what I have to do is use another function that's going to figure out what the row number is based on the type so we'll go and find a in this column and give me the row number now the f we've worked on that before and that is a f formula that does that is the match function so our second argument inside the index function is the match function and the first argument in the match function is the lookup value comma where do we want to look up this type well we want to look it up in the first column of that commission rates table we want to lock that comma we want an exact match because we're dealing with letters and words here so we use zero for an exact match so what match is going to do here once again is it's going to look at the type it's going to look at the type in this table when it in this column when it finds the type it's going to give me back the row number in this table for that type so for example type a is row number one so it would return the number one for this entire function and then that would in turn get fed back into the index function okay now let's get back so we close the parentheses on the match function and now the last argument we're back into the index function comma is the column number once it finds the appropriate uh, type we want the we don't want it to return the type again to us we want it to return the interest rate or the commission rate and that is in column 2 because these are how Excel numbers columns okay and this is how it numbers rows okay so that's how you communicate to Excel and that column is column 2 the rates we close parentheses and we hit enter and look we get 3% and that is the same as this okay as expected because this is type A okay now let's drag this formula down see that it worked 
Type A, 3%. Type B, 5%. Well, look at that. Type C, 7%. Type B5, type A3, type C7. Perfect. Except one last thing. We didn't want just the commission rate. We actually wanted the commission amount. So one next step is we'll go back into the first formula that we wrote. At the end of it, we're going to multiply this entire thing, which got us back the commission rate by the sales to get the person's actual commission amount in one shot. Okay, so all that did was it multiplied the 3% by his $65,000 in sales. And we can drag that down. And now we have a column which is the commission amount that is going to be paid to these employees. Okay, so once again to recap, the index function had three parts here. First was the lookup table second part was the row number which we used the match function to get and the third part was the column number okay so I hope this was helpful if you missed the two match function videos be sure to watch those before you come back to this um, this is an advanced technique uh, comparable to a VLOOKUP actually more robust and flexible so be sure to subscribe and check out my other Excel, PowerPoint, and Access Math tutorial videos. Till next time, have a great day.